You can't take glandular supplements every day for a long period of time. So I'm going to give you some examples of this. I had a product called the Heritage Glandulars Multiglandular. It's not available anymore, but it had nine glandulars in it, including brain and liver. And I had people cycle it, let's say two months on, one month off, or three weeks on, one week off. You always have to cycle these glandulars, and here's why. Back in the 1920s and 30s, when endocrinology was being initially investigated by Dr. Henry Harrower, he was putting people on pure glandulars, and over the course of a few years, let's say three or five years, the patient's body would get used to that hormone level from the pill being put into their body exogenously, meaning from the outside. Then the organ would stop making that hormone, and that's a problem. So later, when those patients, now we're talking early 1930s, they went to other doctors, and the other doctors were trying to get them off that glandular pill, and they couldn't because the body had stopped making the hormone because it was used to getting the hormone internally from the pill. So there are other companies besides the one that I had, for example, Heart and Soil, Paul Saladino, and the Liver King's uh, Ancestral Supplements. Now, I'm a big fan of um, anybody that does natural health care, even if done poorly. It's better than drugs. And both of these companies, though, they sell a lot of products, and I wish them the best, but they need to teach their people, their customers, you have to cycle those products. And I, ex I just explained the reason why, because you don't want your body to get used to the naturally occurring amount of hormones in the pills. Now, let me give you another backstory so you can better understand this. When Dr. Harrower's patients could not get off those glandulars, the other doctors realized it, they figured it out, and they actually blacklisted Harrower from getting referrals, etc. And he was admonished in the medical community. But he didn't know, and nobody knew at the time, that your body would get used to those glandular supplements. Now I need to share with you a story about a company called Nutrimeds. And they made a product called Bovine Thyroid. It's still in the market. I sell it. And it's a woman that created this, this product. Now she had her own thyroid issues. And she tried drugs and supplements and nothing worked. So she decided to make a pure bovine thyroid pill. And nobody else had done this before. Because they knew that the USDA or FDA or some government agency would investigate. And sure enough, she made it and she got investigated. And they said, well, you're fine. You didn't add any hormones to the pill. And you didn't subtract any hormones either. It's got that naturally occurring amount of hormones. You're leaving it alone. So you can go ahead and sell it. And so she started to sell it, and then other companies started to do the same. But none of these people knew the history going back to the 20s and 30s about how the human body can get used to the exogenous hormones, and then the particular gland makes less of the hormone. So now standard process, I need to mention them. They have three different types of glandulars. And this is very unique and it's special because these glandulars were developed in the Henry Harrower era of the 20s and 30s when all the doctors knew the technology of glandulars and healing the body and etc so here's their three types of glandulars number one the protomorphogen and they might have like 20 different types of protomorphogens and they are named after the name of the gland plus the word protomorphogen shortened down to pmg so thytrophin pmg is for the thyroid hepatrophin pmg is for the liver and that's dna material or I should, actually, it's RNA material. And the body will use that every single day. You can take it every day without any harm for years. Now, it has a six-month to two-year window of opportunity that it gives you to heal the cause of why that organ is sick. So if you have mercury toxicity, for example, or mold toxicity, and you're taking this protomorphogen supplement, that doesn't mean that it'll get the mold out or the mercury out. That requires other supplements. But again, the, the PMG products give you this window of opportunity where you feel better and um, it's six months to two and a half years or two years and you got to get to the cause. So before I really understood this concept, I had a patient with MS. I put her on neurotrophin PMG. That's the nerve support, protomorphogen. And she felt fantastic for six months. And then all of her symptoms came back. Because I didn't know at the time, this is years ago, early in my career, 
I didn't fully understand the detoxing. I didn't have good products. And actually nobody did at that time. And and it, and then later when I learned about the protomorphogens giving me that six month to two year window, that's when I realized, oh, that's why she felt worse at the six month ear, um, period. Like that's when her window like shut off. The next type of glandular that standard process has is desiccated. That means dried. So they have desiccated adrenal, desiccated spleen, and you can uh, take that for a short period of time, then you got to stop it. Two months maximum. And then you move on to the next type of product. So again, dried glandulars, you can't just take it every day for years. And then the third type of glandular that standard process has ends with the letter X. And they have maybe five or six, I believe. Orchex is one. That's testicles. Hypothalamex is another. That's the hypothalamus gland in the brain. And these products are designed to work very quickly to give you relief of symptoms within a day or within three days and make you feel better. And then after about four to six months, they don't, they don't work anymore. So you got to take another, let's say, two-month break, and you go back on them, and then they work again. So you got to like cycle on and off those because they work, then they don't work, so you stop it. Go back on it, they work again, then they don't work again, then you stop it. That's how that goes. So three different types of glandular products, they're made differently and they have different effects on the body. So I just want to share with you that the technology of the glandulars going back 85, 95 years far exceeds what we know today. Like we don't even, you know, people now don't even know that you have to cycle the glandulars that are just, you know, dried that a lot of people are selling and are being very successful with big sales on Amazon. So just as a patient, you need to know when you're taking a glandular, what's it for, what's it doing, what's its uh, mode of action, how is it made, and these questions, they're not on the Amazon reviews, you know, they're not on uh, the bottle and on, on their designation and how they're being made and what for. So I'm just giving you this an enlightenment so you can think more critically about what you're taking in. For example, I do know of people that, like to say, they don't have a thyroid, and then in that case would be a fine example of taking a thyroid gland dried every day for the rest of your life. That's totally fine. And, you know, in that case, you're probably already on a thyroid hormone drug. So if you take a thyroid glandular, then you might need less of the thyroid drug. And you might, meal, and you might feel more completely healed. You might feel better because the thyroid drug uh, may not be complete enough. And, it, and whereas the thyroid supplement could have TSH, T3, T4, and um, other cofactors and nutrients to for your body to use those hormones, and those hormones are in a very low amount, and um, but you add that to your drug, and then you feel better in, in various ways. Now, one time I had a patient, and she had been on a thyroid medication for over 50 years, and I put her on the dried bovine thyroid supplement from Nutrimeds plus iodine. Over the course of a year and a half, she got tested for her thyroid levels uh, once every four weeks, and her endocrinologist gradually reduced her thyroid medication, and then she got off of it. So for over 50 years, she was simply iodine deficient, and then she needed the thyroid support. And that's a great success. But if you've been on thyroid medication for more than 7 or 10 years, it's really, really hard to get off of it. And in that case, we were just lucky that she just was iodine deficient. So if you're taking a glandular, know that you might need to get more information. If you need some help, you can be a patient in the office. And we have this sort of technology and education going back 100 years as to how the origins of a variety of supplements and diets came to be, and they still matter. That information still matters now because the human body hasn't changed in 100 years, 200 years, 5,000 years. It's the same human body. And there's a lot of technology that we used to know, and we forgot about it. And it's part of my job to f figure out old and new discoveries for improving your health in relation to chronic illness.